Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're doing a good old fashioned Chanel beauty haul. I have a couple collections that I've picked up over the past few weeks, so I thought we could just do a haul together. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. So as many of you know, I have my online beauty consulting service, which is where I've gotten the pleasure to meet so many of you. This is a one-on-one -on -one video chat where you just get to ask me any beauty related questions you might have. So if this sounds like something that interests you, please click the link in the description box down below. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the first collection that came out a few weeks ago. This is Les Beige a Chanel summer, summer and grand style. This came out a few weeks ago. And one of the items that I got from this release here is this gorgeous Le Beige body oil. So you do have to give it a good shake like this. And what's fun about giving it a shake is that you get this wonderful golden liquid display here. I won't lie to you, I often do just give it a shake because it's just fun to look at. I mean, you get to see, it almost looks like sand. Like you can see the little bubbles rising to the top. It looks gorgeous. I mean, look at this. This is definitely a very extra purchase. I'm not typically a body oil, body shimmer person. I did put some on today on my shoulders, arms, and neck decollete area just to show you how it looks. It has a really lovely scent, but it's not overpowering like it won't conflict with whatever perfume you wear it just smells fresh clean and it's really beautiful it's an illuminating face body and hair i use it for my body I'm, I'm, it says it's a uh, face safe so i'm sure it would not break you out but i just don't really want to put it on my face and on my hair maybe if my hair was like sleek and smoothed out I would apply it but just on the body it smells great and like I said it's just it's so beautiful that sometimes I just go like this and admire it and look at it and it's it was one of those extra purchases but I know a lot of people love the Chanel body oils they come out with a lot of number five ones around the holidays and the gold and the glass it's just it is gorgeous and it is glass, so do be careful not to drop it. Let me go ahead and look in my goodie bag to see what else I got. Okay, now the almost infamous Les Beige highlighter. There was so much confusion about this because they came out with these jumbo maxi bronzers, three shades, but then also two highlighting powders. A lot of people were confused because I don't think they had the highlighting powders everywhere like here in canada it's an online exclusive only you won't find it at a store or at a boutique and i think in other countries they're not available i really don't know what makes certain collections and certain items be limited edition to certain countries or whatever i truly have no idea so basically this is soft peach this is a oversized healthy glow highlighting powder this is the description here there is another one available it's more of a pinky color but i went with the peach here so it looks like this jumbo quilted pattern it looks like the inside are tiny little compacts it's extra, it's gorgeous. This is what I'm wearing today as highlighter. It is very finely milled. It's not going to be like a blinding highlight. I don't know if you can hear the construction, apologies. But it's just, it's very soft, very natural. I think it's gorgeous. It's one of my favorite highlighters that's come out in a long time from Chanel, just because I like how seamless and smooth it is. I think it's a shame it's not international. And so many people were confused because, I mean, if it wasn't available to you, it was really confusing. Some people thought I was talking about the lighter bronzer, but no, this is a highlighter. So I don't know what that's about, but I also got one of the bronzers as well. So this again is part of the Le Beige oversized maxi compacts here. This is the Healthy Glow Sun Kissed Powder, so it's a bronzer, and I got the darkest shade called Sun Bath. I actually wanted to get the medium shade, but something happened when I clicked online. I accidentally got this one here. So this is going to be 
the exact same pattern the quilting it looks like tiny little compacts inside the packaging is gorgeous oh, let me give you um some swatches here of the highlighter i have dipped into it so it's starting to look used so this is the highlighter here it's very soft very natural just very beautiful i'm a huge fan of it and i love the soft peachy hue that's in there as well now let me give you a swatch of this deep bronzer here too both of these the packaging is starting to look a little <laughs> worn i'm hoping i'm giving you guys some good swatches here it's hard to tell with my hand <laughs> reversed but this is the deep here and this is the bronzer that i'm wearing today i just wore it like you know just sculpt the cheek a little bit forehead a little bit on the bridge of the nose so this is the color here i think it's really gorgeous i love the Le beige collection it wasn't always my favorite release but this year i'm definitely feeling like it's a chanel summer so these two i'm very happy to pick up and i don't know if they're still available online i certainly hope so because they're just really great products okay next up from my bag of tricks over here is the new chanel Le beige water fresh complexion series so the original water fresh tint is one of my favorite complexion products of all time and then i heard that they were going to come out with a new edition like just a continuation of the collection and now they have the water fresh tint no it's chanel le beige water fresh complexion touch and what's interesting is that it comes with a brush like this it's very pointed it almost looks like a concealer brush because you can in fact use it as a all-over face complexion product or a spot concealer and that's what i'm wearing today on my face that's my <laughs> apologies for headphone wearers i dropped this uh, tube here but this is what i'm wearing on my face as foundation and, and concealer so this here is the shade 40 this is what i wore basically all over my face just spread it out to match my skin tone and neck my face and neck are always a little bit lighter than the rest of my body like my arms are much darker obviously but 40 is basically my summer shade then i went into 30 and i used it as my concealer like this is my only concealer today is the 30 in the complexion touch this is made up of 60 percent water and it's th it offers three times the amount of coverage as the original so it's more concentrated in coverage and pigment and it also still has a lot of water so as an under eye concealer i just think it looks so gorgeous it's so fresh it's so light it's bright but it adds so much water so if you're someone who struggles with super super dry under eyes I think you should give one of these a try for a concealer because it really just gives you a glass of water and coverage at the same time and there is quite a bit of coverage in here because like i said the only concealer that i have here is the number 30 and i took a little bit of it into the center of my face just to brighten it up a bit and it's just it's gorgeous i'm so happy with this collection i'm you know i had high hopes and those hopes were met exceeded wonderful and i really do prefer the new brush that comes with this uh complexion touch here because honestly to spread it's not that bad at first i thought oh this is going to be so tedious to you know blend all over my face but it's actually not that bad and then for the concealing it's just so perfect it just fits right in it's just gorgeous it gives you very much like your skin but better very natural you're still going to see some imperfections like it's not going to cover huge discoloration but if you like a lighter fresher more natural skin look this is definitely for you and then next up i got also the new chanel Le beige water fresh blush this looks the closest to the original water fresh tint it looks like a miniature but this is a new permanent collection blush series i think there are five or six shades to choose from it's the blush that i'm wearing today so this one here you pour on the back of your hand and you crush it up and then you apply that's really the best way to apply the entire water fresh collection it's really the only method to apply it that i'm aware of you can play influencer and just pour it all over your face you can 
Should you? I don't know. I don't think so. But I got the shade Light Peach. I like peachy shades, peachy hues for blushes. So for me, this was just the right tone, the right blush for me. I have been highly anticipating this one too because like I said, Water Fresh Tint is my favorite and it just looks lovely like these pigments of blush suspended in this jelly it looks so wonderful i love both of these collections i think i like the complexion tint the most i'm just really really impressed with the coverage and how beautiful it is i still really love the blush i just i have a lot more blushes in my collection i guess but i still am using it i just think i use this more if that makes sense but honestly i'm very very happy with both very content with both of my purchases and maybe i'll go ahead and start getting new colors too because i only wanted to get one blush shade at first to see if i actually liked it um, and i do so i may go ahead and pick up some more hues let me know in the comments if you've picked up the new collections here the le beige and the water fresh whatever collections let me know in the comments Okay, next up is something that I picked up at the counter that is not new. Well, I mean, it is new. It, it came out this year in January, but it's been out for a few months, so it's practically ancient as far as like the beauty world is concerned. But this is one of the number one um, tinted lip and cheek balms. I got a shade called like Camellia Red that's a really beautiful, gorgeous color, but this shade here is number two, Healthy Pink. It is just the most beautiful natural pout. It's a tinted lip and cheek balm, so you can wear it as a blush as well. I've just been loving it as a lip stain. Like, look at my lips. They look so juicy, hydrated, and it just looks like the most beautiful natural pink pout. Like, this is just my natural lip color. They just look so glossy and so rosy. And it offers just enough rosy hue but it looks so natural. So if you like a natural lip balm or a natural lip look, get number two, Healthy Pink. It's just so pretty. I just tried it on at the counter, just like, just like that. And I was like, oh, that's actually really gorgeous. So I got that. And of course, I picked up a couple of the new nail polishes. There is a new nail series. I think this is also part of the Le Beige. It's just part of the chanel summer that we have going on here i think there are again five or six shades available i was told that these are limited edition which is very unfortunate because i love white manicures i love a white nail polish especially from chanel so i got two shades here i got the first one here number 927 blanc écume and number 935 cc green they are inspired by the Mediterranean, by the water, by the ocean, by the waves, by the foam that, you know, billows on the coast. It's very much light, fresh pastel. I have not had the chance yet to test these out. I will definitely do my manicure very soon and give you guys updates, but these are the two shades that I wanted. There are more corally peachy colors, which are nice, but I am a sucker for just like a white manicure. I just think it always looks so classy, so clean. Anytime I see someone wearing a, a white manicure, I'm like, oh, that's what I want to be wearing right now. And then I got this CC green because it's a light pastel green that, that has <laughs> some white, some light to it. So it's just really lovely. And I think both of these are so flattering. They're just so nice on so many different skin tones, manicure, pedicure, so lovely. And I just did some swatches on a, um, a scotch tape. And I have to say that just from the swatching, I think that the white one is much more opaque than the green. I think the green will pay a little bit more attention, but I am very happy with both of these because this is just what I wanted. So maybe I'll be able to do my manicure later today. So there is something else here that I almost forgot to add and I cannot believe I did this. I bought this like a couple days before I left for Portugal and so I didn't really have time to film it, but I bought myself the Chanel Chance Au Tendre Music Box. This is probably one of my most extra purchases, but it really makes my inner child very happy, like Chanel, beauty, and a music box. All the worlds collided. So you get a pink Chanel Chance bag, wonderful. I bought this through a sales associate from the Toronto Bloor Street 
um, boutique. I'll go ahead and leave their information in the description box. I don't know if they have any music boxes left, but I'm sure they can help you out with other purchases. This is the box that it comes in. It is this giant pink box. It's round. It's a cylinder. It looks like the same shades as, you know, Chanel, Chance, Eau Tendre. And inside you get the 100 ml of the Eau de Parfum. It's the real perfume. It's not vinegar. So you get a full size 100 ml of the Eau de Parfum version and you get a gorgeous display of whimsy and fantasy and girlhood. I mean, I, I don't know why I purchased it other than just like I saw it and I was like, please just shut up and take my money. It was one of those like fugue states where I was like, I need this. I don't know why, but I need it. I need it now. I need to go ahead and move my display area around so I can showcase this gorgeous Chanel Chance music box. How decadent, how extra. So I think that is it for my roundup here. This is my collection. I totally forgot I had the music box. Maybe I'll just do a little video to include the music box on its own in like a shorts or something on my channel because like it's just so extra. I love it. Anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Sound off in the comments below. Let me know what you think. Let me know which collections you picked up. Which ones are you going to get in the near future? Leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I hope you take the time to do so. And if you are subscribed, thank you so much for joining me on this journey here. We talk about nothing but luxury beauty and lots of Chanel. So. On that note, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. So I thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.